You should never give up and I show you why. Hi everybody, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. My name is Soraya. Now it did take me six tries to get to this and I'm glad I didn't give up. I learned each time something new and I've got uh, all the tries and failures on the video with commentary so it can help you out too. So keep watching. So as you will see, it took me six tries and that was number one which was kind of really pretty but the more I worked on it the worse it got and uh, progressively that kept happening uh, it happens to me sometimes not sure what was happening um, with the colors I had an idea it just wasn't working uh, and I kept going and uh, you'll see what happens in the end This one, I went as far as doing the balloon smashes and actually working on it. But again, the more I worked on it, um, I think the worse it got. So I poured over it again. <laughs> as you can see, I don't like to give up. So on this last one, I went a totally different route uh, by tilting and it turned out quite pretty. The metallic colors on this one really worked well together. I don't know about you, but I, I find it so satisfying and comforting to watch the paint kind of move slowly across the canvas. There's a good reason why uh, this technique is mostly done on smaller canvases. It is very difficult to manipulate the paint uh, when you're holding a large canvas and it is so heavy. I really liked the way it turned out and then I decided to use the hair dryer to soften it all up and bring it together. Okay, and here it is from my side, and oh, I love it. Finally, I am so, so, so happy. Um, the pour and tilting and all that was really nice. I just wanted to soften it up. And now it looks like a really abstracted kind of sunset or sunrise uh, landscape. So I'm excited to see how this will um, dry. It's got a lot of paint on there, so probably two or three days. But look, I am so happy with that. It is gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. And these kind of waves, I'm not sure what if I'm going to um, enhance it or as, um, embellish. Um, but I'll see. I'll see how it, it dries up. And I'll be back here in just one second. Okay, here it is. It took four days to dry and I'm loving the sky. I think that looks wonderful, but I'm not too crazy about this section here. There's some areas that look great. So I'm gonna start embellishing it now. So wish me luck. This is the Liquitex Matte Medium I love to use. This is Acrylic Sky Blue. 
So with all the colors that I use to embellish this, I always dip them in a bit of the matte medium. Here is Titanium White Liquitex Basics. And this is Artist Loft uh, Light Blue. The matte medium allows the paint to be translucent so you can still see what's going on underneath when you put the color on top. I'm adding the light blue throughout the canvas uh, to have a good balance of it. I'm starting to work on that all-important focal point. I sing next. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed, you just remember what your old pal said. You've got a friend in me. Oh, yeah. You've got a friend in me. Seeing this section now, um, it looks really beautiful as it is, but I decided that it needed more depth to it, and that's why I'm changing it up here. It worked out beautifully in the end. And here I'm adding Liquitex Burnt Umber. And this is a poster paint, it's a bronze color. I mix those two colors together to add this uh, bit of land and rock area. And after all the time that I had put into it, this kind of looks like a big mess, but you'll see it comes together. So don't be afraid to try this yourself. It is just paint and you can go over it and over it as many times as you like. As I keep adding the detail, you can really see how it's all coming together here. And you can also see here the depth that the water has as it compared to before. Um, by adding those different layers of colors, it comes through. This definitely was a work of love. It took a long time to get to this uh, point and um, it is because I love to paint and I keep going as you can tell. I decided to kind of connect those two land um, masses or 
places of rocks just by adding some very loose rocks so it's just turning the brush here and there and it gives you the impression that there's something there that there are some jagged rocks sticking out of the water as the artist you create the illusion and the mind fills in all the details I love to add a lot of movement in my paintings and that's what I'm working towards here. And here it is all done. I'm loving what I see. That took a very long time, but I love this abstracted landscape. Colors are beautiful. They work so well together. I would say it's kind of like a sunrise with rocks or some kind of land mass. And yeah, that's beautiful. I'm really loving it. I've got up close images coming up, so watch out for those and click on the link you see now to see more of my artwork. Join my Facebook group called Soraya Silvestri Artist, Amazing Abstracts, Semi-Abstracts and Pores. The link is in the description area below.